What's up everyone? Today we're, be you're, we're gonna be going over leak code 349, intersection of two arrays. Now this is a very simple problem, but there's two things that we should keep in mind when we're doing this because it'll help us when we're doing some more complicated problems. There's several ways to solve this. You can use sets, mm, you, can do, you can even use binary search, but the way I'm gonna use it is using a two pointers and it's important because I've seen in some you know, interviews that they won't give you integers, but they'll give you some strings. And the way I'm gonna solve this problem by first sorting and then using the pointers, you can actually even use that on strings. In fact, you could probably use it on some custom classes if you're writing your comparator. So if in an interview, if you're asked to work with say IP strings given to, IP addresses given to you as strings, then you know this is gonna be a viable answer. So let's get into it. The input is a one array, two arrays, and the output has to be array, but they only want the unique one. So technically there's two twos and two twos, but they only want one two. Now, because they want uniqueness, we can use a set of integers to, hold tr to keep track. And now that we wrote the set, let's initialize the pointers. And the key to this problem is to sort the arrays. And we're going to make the arrays, we're going to make the pointers keep traveling along. So when we sort these, it's going to look like this. We'll keep i there, we keep j there. Now if they're both the same, then we can add it to our list that we're going to return as an integer array. But if they're not the same, then I'm going to move i over to here. Are these the same? They're not. But uh, these are the same, so we're going to take two and we're going to move both of these along. And that's pretty much how this problem is solved. Okay, now let's keep a list i, list of integers, to hold integers that are common and unique. So at the end, they want a return as an integer array. And OK, I'm going to write int m is equal to nums one dot length. Int n is equal to nums two dot length. Now, if nums of nums one of i is less than or is equal to sorry is equal to nums two of j then I want to check hey did we add this one before or not uh, I'm gonna label this while loop so I'm going to call it loop if set doesn't contain the number, then I will add it. And that closes the if loop. Then we have to increment the pointers, whether or not they were in the set already. Else, if nums one of i is greater than, is less than, sorry, nums two of j, i plus plus, mm, and then I'll say continue loop. Uh, 
uh, I plus plus and then continue loop. Else, if nums one of i is greater than nums two of j, j plus plus, continue loop. So now our uh, L, list L, all has all the integers that we need. All we have to do is make a new array of that size and return that array. I'll do that very quickly. Plus, and we're going to put in l.get k, and we're going to return arr. So that's how you solve code 349, intersection of two arrays. So if you like this video, please subscribe, please share it with your friends, and please like. Thank you.